when you practice the Dharma, endurance is one of the most important qualities. A lot of Westerners went to Thailand, and the Ajans over there discovered the Westerners were really weak in this, as that's what they emphasized again and again and again, learning how to put up with things. Because all too often when someone does something we don't like, we take that as an excuse. Well, we can do something they don't like in return, as if it somehow gave us the right to misbehave. And our fear that if we let them get away with misbehavior, they'll misbehave more. But there are skillful ways of dealing with other people's misbehavior. I and mean, the first one is to make sure your mind doesn't feel threatened by it, doesn't feel scarred by it, doesn't feel wounded by it. This is what the Buddha said. If someone says something to you that doesn't sound quite right, just remind yourself, okay, an unpleasant sound has made contact at the ear, and leave it at that. Don't pull it in, don't elaborate on it, because it's the elaboration that makes us suffer. And so when we're not suffering from things like that, then we can look at the situation with more objectivity, decide well, what really needs to be done here. What would be the most effective thing to do? If we're feeling wounded or threatened, we just grab at whatever, say whatever, do whatever, and then we get a whatever kind of karma as a result. We want karma that we know is good, and so we have to think about it, reflect on it, and put the mind in a position where it doesn't feel wounded. Similarly with physical pain. You learn how to deal with physical pain. Don't pull it in. Don't stab yourself with it. In both cases, unpleasant words and physical pain, it's the added commentary that we do place on these things. That's what makes us suffer. So we've got to learn how to shut down that commentary. Let the pain stay with the pain. Let the words stay with the words. Just let them stay right there. You don't have to pick them up and stab yourself with them. And that way you're more likely to do the right thing in response. And so in order to maintain that kind of mindfulness, to maintain that kind of restraint, you need a comfortable place inside. This is one of the reasons why we meditate and create a sense of ease with the breath coming in going out. So it's not just a matter of being in the present with whatever comes up, but being in the present with a sense of well-being, a sense that you're home here. That way whatever comes and knocks on the door and knocks on the windows, you can leave it at the door and leave it at the windows. You don't have to pull it in. And that puts you in a position of strength. And when you're coming from a position of strength, you're much more likely to respond in skillful ways to the ups and downs of the world outside. <laughs>